Now, hi there, this is Nico. So, I will be making one more tutorial on drawing piggy bank using Adobe Illustrator. I'm using CC 2018. Alright, so let's draw the body starting with the lips tool, align it. Also, I'm making a hole for the coin. A pretty awkward way to start the body than the coin uh, but I have done this illustration so many times and I had to break the monotony okay so the dollar sign I'm using Ario around the rounded font it's pretty good for cartoonish style right so let's draw the coin Open a lip stool, put some stroke on it, mm. and now control C, control F, uh, paste it front, and change the color lighter a bit. Alright, okay, let's draw the ears, open a rectangle around the, the top right corner, uh, delete the bottom part by using direct selection too. Alright, so now copy the ear, deselect everything and pass it behind using control B. You want that ear way behind. And just use the, the arrow, right arrow, to move it around. Alright, so now the nose, again, same, wrist angle, make it rounded a bit, send it back. Same as for the legs. It's pretty simple process. Uh, all right, make the legs a bit rounded. All right, now the tail. Let's use the spiral tool. Reflect it. Delete the extra spiral. We like it to be more simple. Alright, perfect. So now let's do the eye. Open the lips. Uh, control C, Control F. So we can make the highlights. Uh, we're dragging out, copy the eye and cut it with the pathfinder so it can look like a cheek eye. So now let's do the coin dropping effect. Open a line with the pen tool, make this rounded, expand it, use the pot finder and unite. Also hold out, copy it with shift and just hit control D. Uh, make this element odd number, we want 11, no, not 12. Align it with the coin send it to back every second one just copy it and drag top and make it white so this is what will create that interesting effect okay select both elements the white and the positive and negative and just trim the white Alright, so now make these lines not even. This is a very interesting effect. I have seen it on a lot of illustrations. And this is the most easiest way to do it. Okay, so just copy one of the elements. And just copy and move it to the top of the shorter lines. So we can do that falling interrupt line effect. Mm, 
make sure to select the I, the dollar and the whole and group it okay select everything expand it and now select everything and deselect the grouped items and hit trim on the bot finder and the ears kind of separate from the body you just select the ear and the body and unite it with the bot finder all right so once we separate the object now we can play with the shadow and the highlights you can see now how the coin separated from the stroke all you need to do now is control c and control f twice make two copies and drag one copy and just cut it with the pathfinder make it a bit lighter for the highlands and for the shadow just make it darker so again for the body control c control f twice move it down a bit let's make the top copy white so we can see where is the highlights and now let's create a cutting edge uh, I think this is perfect okay let's cut it and here we have the highlights same for the shadow oh here for the hole just control C and control B and move it with the down arrow on the keyboard for the shadow same control C control F twice cut it make this a bit darker Uh, see some extra highlights make sure you delete the extra highlights or shadows same for the nose and for the legs uh, let's select that outline no once was outline now it's a fill and go offset path double the size of it so select both legs and hold out then hit unite and expand and just intercept if this was uh, confusing for you just do one leg at a time okay let's create now a background send it back lock the background and just do a shadow with the ellipse tool Alright, let's make the coin the piggy more shiny. Uh, open ellipse, go to FX, distort transform, then packer and bolt. Then go preview and play around with the packer. Alright, so expand it. Alright, so you can copy it and press the front, just rotate it a bit, make it smaller, or you can just do the basic one, no need to copy it, so it can look more simple. Uh, I always put it on the highlights, so it can get that interesting effect. Well, alright guys, that was it, so I hope you learned something here, and stay tuned for more tutorials. Cheers!